The Circumferential Road 5 Calayan Avenue Interchange, also known as the C5 Calayan Interchange, is a road interchange in Makati, Metro Manila, the Philippines, originally a regular four-way intersection between Circumferential Road 5, C5, and Calayan Avenue. It was fitted in 2009 with the country's first elevated U-turn slots, built in an attempt to speed up traffic along the C5 corridor. History The C5 Calayan intersection is the first major intersection of C5 south of the Pasig River, and traffic congestion in the area is very heavy, even extending to as far north as Ortigas Avenue during rush hour. This ultimately led both the Metropolitan Manila Development Authority MMDA, and the Department of Public Works and Highways DPWH, to conclude that the construction of an interchange between the two roads was needed to speed up traffic. However, both agencies disagreed on the final design of the interchange. While the DPWH sought to construct a 750-meter six-lane underpass to divert through traffic under the intersection, the MMDA claimed that this was too expensive and impractical, and sought to build elevated U-turn slots instead, which it also argued would not require other infrastructure, such as street lamps and anti-flood measures, unlike an underpass, in the end, the DPWH. S proposal, which would have cost 600 million pesos, was abandoned in favor of the MMDA. S proposal, which was half the cost. Construction of the interchange, funded by a Japanese loan package, began in April 2008, when work began on the southern elevated U-turn slot, which was completed six months later. The northern elevated U-turn slot, meanwhile, began construction on December 2, 2008, and was completed on April 17, 2009. During construction, traffic that would normally cross the C5 Calayan intersection was diverted through Circumferential Road 3, C3, including Gregorio Araneta Avenue, and Epifanio de los Santos Avenue, EDSA. The entire interchange was inaugurated by President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo, accompanied by MMDA Chairman Bayani Fernando, on May 5, 2009, and it was opened to traffic the next day. Impact the impact of the C5 Calayan Interchange's construction was initially positive. Within a week of the interchange's opening, the MMDA claimed that both traffic speed and vehicular volume increased, with more than 150,000 cars now passing through the intersection daily, taking an estimated amount of 30,000 vehicles off of EDSA in the process. Traffic speed on C5 also increased from 20.85 km per hour, 12.96 miles per hour, in 2006 and 2007 to 38.84 km per hour, 24.13 miles per hour, within two weeks of the interchange's completion, an increase of 86%. Criticism Criticism on the construction of the C5 Calayan interchange has been varied, and public reaction has been mixed. It has been argued that the construction of the interchange led to significant public inconvenience, and criticism of the design has varied from being aesthetically unpleasing to, in the words of Lester Dizon of the Philippine Star, being a public nuisance. Another star columnist, James Deakin, argued that the location of the elevated U-turn slots was ill-conceived, even calling the interchange one of Metro Manila's worst eyesores. Journalist Karina Sanchez, meanwhile, claimed that the interchange was a PR stunt for Bayani Fernando, who she claims was not used to going unnoticed. Senator Francis Escudero, meanwhile, insinuated that the MMDA focuses too much energy on traffic mitigation instead of flood control, criticizing the opening of the interchange while Metro Manila was affected by flooding caused by Typhoon Among, Chan Home, just a few days earlier. Structurally, the elevated U-turn slots have been criticized for failing global traffic standards, even earning protest from a local association of structural engineers who questioned the interchange. As safety, the C5 Calayan Interchange abuts three constituent Metro Manila local government units, and while the mayors of Pateros and Taguig were supportive of the interchange, S. Construction, claiming that it allows them to better manage traffic in their respective localities, Makati Mayor Jejamar Binay was opposed. References <laughs>